Hey, yes, the pen hit the paper. I'm reaching for skyscrapers. Most of you other niggas are sweeter than nine laters. Greatest thing I was ever told was speak your mind. My style is, you know, a, a friend of mine says it's crazy bone and Tupac and you put it in a blender. I'll accept that. Um, you know, my favorite rapper is crazy bone. I mean, you know, you'll hear it all in my music. Um, but I think what I did was, is I took rhyming from the gut and really getting a bass in, in, in my voice and really expressing the way I feel and getting it across. You know, I kind of dub my style as simplistic but effective. You know, I'm not going to be a guy that give you a heavy punchline, but I will be a guy that gives you a line and make you think just as much as a punchline does. I think that's what's missing in music a little bit is um, the concentration on lyrics. Uh, and, and the thought behind a lyric, um, you know, not just making anybody say ooh when you write a punchline, but really making it make sense to them. You know, that that's one thing that 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 I think Pac always did was he made it make sense to you. You know, he wasn't a heavy lyrical guy, you know, he, he wasn't, you know, go back and forth with lines, but the lines that he would say would blow you away just as much as a punchline that Jadakiss or Fabulous or Biggie would say. Um, and, and I try to do that. I try to, uh, you know, keep it as simplistic but effective as possible. Um, it's a difference from from being simplistic and effective, and just being simplistic and dumbing down. Uh, that's not anything that I want to do. I, I want to make it make sense and, and understand that, you know, when I say a line that that goes, you know, people dying every day, jobs being lost. That's a real line. You know, that's not anything that is fabricated or made up because I made a punchline and saw it on TV. That's a real line and something that's going on. So, you know, I just think my style is just, it's the, it represents the everyday person. Um, it represents the person that works that nine to five that, you know, is this close away from calling a homeboy that's in the street to get some work. Uh, you know, they live in check to check. You know what I mean? People, you know, got jobs out here, man, and they still living as bad as the person that don't have a job. And we all in the same situation. So I think that's what uh, my style represents. You know, is it, 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 that's what Twan D the student represents. You know, outside of that, it just represents that, that, that regular person, man, that, that person that don't want to have a job for the rest of their life you know that that has aspirations that this is all they have you know because even though i have an occupation i feel this is all i have this is the only thing i've been you know blessed to have talent with and be consistent in so you know i think my style represents you know a lot other than just what i say on the mic